Director of Reflections for May 5th of 2024. Time to listen. In modern journalism, there are two ways to promote the sense of listening, audio news, and interactions with audiences. Vocalized content, whether in podcast or video, and streaming formats that also provide images are now the most in demand and the most monetizable. This is the case, for example, of the successful audio application that the New York Times has launched within a package of products that it offers to its users, not only with news of the day, but also with cooking recipes and topics that take advantage of the passions and everyday needs of readers. Narrative audio journalism, which allows you to listen to news while the user performs other tasks, has increased its audiences because it also includes reproductions of content from other media on a single platform. This is a papal reflection of the innovations brought about by what I have called the auditory era, driven by the vocation of many users to listen more than to read text in printed or digital media. Audiobooks, although They do not necessarily fall into the category of news content. Also illustrate this trend. Podcasts synthesize news stories, set with original effects or sounds, or adapted by artificial intelligence applications that add fascinating realism to the narratives. The other type of listening is that which occurs in the new community of media users to determine what users prefer, what they complain about, what suggestions they make for information planning, or simply to talk to the journalist who writes a new story. For this, there are chats between journalists and readers a model that strengthens the relationship between the media and their users, or space programs that broadcast live dialogue between them. For Listing Diario, voiceover and translations by Indira Rodriguez.